Hi YouTubers, I just want to share to you some tips on growing carnivorous plant under LED lights. I found out that growing carnivorous plant doesn't require the blue and the red spectrum of the LED light. They just prefer super bright warm white LED and it should be diffused. At first, I was using this second-generation LED lights. It is bright, but not as bright. It only emits around 210 lumen. Then I discovered, and now using this fourth-generation LED lights. But this alone doesn't do the trick. I found out that in order for a uh, Venus flytrap to thrive, it needs bright but diffused warm light. So in order for me to diffuse the light, I use this plastic cup. I got this from a toy. Then what I did is I diffused it using talcum powder. As such, pour a little talcum powder inside. Oops. Then spread the talcum powder like that. Then having this diffused with diffused cup with the talcum powder. Now, using this cup, diffused cup. You just combine this with the light, uh, with the LED light, as such. Then it's done. Let me fix this first. This LED light emits around three hundred ten lumen. It's fourth generation. Then uh, you need to put this around three to four inches far away above the plant, but not farther away because uh, it will it will not do anything good when you put it around six to twelve inches away from the plant. It will just uh, the plant will die out, and then uh, you'll just waste your electricity. Now. I hope that when you grow your carnivorous plant inside and want to save money from using fluorescent light, you might as well try LED lights with a super bright warm white and it will do the trick. It will grow your Venus flytrap as well as your Drosera spatulata or your Sanju. Uh, the Saracenias as well as the Nefentis doesn't have any problem with the red and the blue LED. What I did is I just combined uh, some I, I just combined some white LED and then with the red and blue LEDs. Now I'm growing my spatulata, my Nefentis, my Saracenias, and as well as my Dionia or the Venus flytrap using such method and it's working perfectly for me so i hope this will encourage you to grow more plants especially carnivorous plant inside because you'll be using uh you'll be saving electricity and will pay less okay thank you and i hope you learned something from me